Okay, let's try a couple of uh, geometry questions where we're going to apply all the basic um, form, um, reasons, but well, they're a little bit more challenging. But the first thing here says, determine with reasons, the first one's not so bad, um, the angles A and the angles B in the diagram below. Well, these two are parallel lines, and these two are called corresponding angles. They're in the corners of an upside down F here. Those are corresponding angles. Because of that, A equals 55 degrees. Corresponding angles of parallel lines. And if we had letters, we would name the parallel lines to get it right. Okay. Now, <laughs> how do we know what B is? Well, these are two pairs of parallel lines it's given. That means it's a parallelogram. And if it's a parallelogram, B and 55 degrees, um, opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. And that's something you have to know. Just like the opposite sides are parallel and equal, you have to know that. Let's take a look at a question that's a little bit harder. Okay, you're given that AB equals BE. You're supposed to prove that DC, DC is equal to BE, that these two um, lines here are equal to each other. Well, what's the length? What's the length? Well, we've got that um, AB a, is equal to BE. Oh, but there is. What else is AB equal to? It's equal to DC. It's equal to DC. So AB is equal to BE. It's given. But AB is equal to DC. And why is that? Because it's we've got another parallelogram here. It's the opposite sides of a parallelogram. And we should, you know, give the shorthand there and say that AB is parallel to DC. That's how we should do it. Um, you write down um, opposite angles of a parallelogram. And, yeah, well, actually, we should say that ABCD is a parallelogram because of two pairs of opposite angles that would prove it, but you're looking at two pairs of parallel lines. So, there's the first questions.